Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gem or Junk, the series where we decide whether a game is a hidden gem or just plain old junk. Listen to this music. Let me turn it up for you. Isn't that amazing? Anyways, this is Journey to Silius. This game was originally supposed, for those who don't know, this game was originally supposed to be a licensed Terminator game for the SNES. Yes, the Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator, but halfway through production, the company Sunsoft lost the rights to the Terminator name, so, you know, they were left with just a blank game, and they decided to rework it into its own title. Now, if this game had had the Terminator name, I feel it would have gotten more popular than it already is. I, I mean, than it is, because it's not really that popular. I discovered this game when I went to my cousin's house, and he had it on his Nintendo Switch Online, and I booted up the game because I was like, oh, what's this? I've never heard of it. And when that music hit my face, I was like, damn. And then I went home, and I realized that this game is not that popular. So here we are. This is the story of the game, as you just read. Let me turn it up a little bit more. It's been a while. They will pay for the price. I mean, they will pay for the death of my father. Oh, that's a little bit too loud. I want you guys to hear my commentary. So I'm using an emulator, obviously, and I have a turbo button. So that's pretty cool. It makes the game a bit easier. So as you can see, it's like a, your very average run and gun like Contra game. Except you have to understand that this was originally supposed to be a Terminator game. So, the dystopian, like, futuristic apocalypse setting should make sense now that I've said that for those who don't know. Whoops. Yeah, the game's kind of hard. Can't hit that guy. So, we just go about this, um, carefully, you know. It's, it's every single running gun game ever. You got your array of weapons, uh, how do I pull up my weapons? Okay. You got a handgun and you have a shotgun. Let's try the shotgun. So it shoots three bullets. But you can run out of it. You can run out of bullets. Whoa, whoa! Oh, I didn't mean, I, I meant to go backwards. I'm so stupid. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch to my regular handgun because I don't want to waste any, any precious shotgun ammo. Yep. Music's really good, too. Um, when I first heard the music, I actually thought it was composed by Tim Fallon, who made the music for Pictionary on the NES, um, the Plock soundtrack, uh, what else? What else did he make? He made a lot of things. He made, like, music for the Lemmings, I think. So yeah, but this is surprisingly not composed- Oh, he made this uh, Silver Surfer theme too. But surprisingly, this was not composed by Tim Fallon, it was composed by someone else. Well, hey, I'm, I'm gonna die, I'm actually gonna die. Come on! What is this, a boss? Oh, come on! M. What is that? Uh-oh. One more life. Oh, strategy. What is this? Oh, what is this? Is this 
Boss? Yep, that's I think I think so. He can't shoot up by the way. Oh this is this is great boss music. Hey! Well, whoa, 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 whoa. They just, they just keep coming. Oh, no, and they shoot projectiles too, that's great. Are we done here? I should switch to my, uh... Oh, we got a new machine gun! Oh! Really now? Shift is to pause, by the way. Oh. Oh, yeah, you gotta... Yep, makes sense. Come on, go! Oh, come on. How am I not dead? Well, that answers my question. Whoopsies. Yes, I will continue. So as you can see, the game is not bad. Wait, am I still? No, nope, lost all my weapons. Well, at least just the machine gun. So as you can see, this game really is not that bad. You can obviously kind of, you can kind of see the similarities between Terminator. Get, go away, please. You can kind of see the similarities between the Terminator and this game, you know, the apocalyptic setting, all the robots, but they must have changed a lot of things, really, like, really, like, when, like, after they lost the license, they must have spent a lot of time changing the robots, or, like, all the enemies, because I've, none of these resemble anything from the Terminator. Like, if we're basing, say, say this game came out, like, when the first Terminator was only out. They really didn't have any much to base it off of. Unlike now, we got Terminator Salvation, uh, Terminator Dark Fate, which shows a lot of the backstory. But back in the 80s, when 1984, when Terminator first came out, they really didn't have much to go off of. But yeah, it's by no means a bad game. Guys, I think we found a gem! A hidden gem, to be exact. You just gotta keep shooting and you'll live, maybe. Ugh, it's so hard! Yeah, this game is hard. Oh my god. Whoopsies. That one shoots. I'm so stupid. Almost all my machine gun ammo is gone. Alright, we better do it. This is supposed to be Kyle Reese? Alright, hold the fire button and just go at it. Oh, yeah, we switched back to our regular gun. Just gotta just shoot and kill it! Oh, we did it! Let's go! Alright, stage dose. This is one of those you can't go back at S NES games, huh? That look, these look more like Robocop enemies, if anything. 
Like, I'm surprised this wasn't a, a Robocop game. Oh, hey! Oh, man, that's... Oh. Those guys don't seem to do much. I couldn't see that thing. Yeah, a lot of enemies are just camouflaged into the into the the, the the actual level itself, so you can't really see them until it's too late. Oh, no. Hey, am I supposed to go down there? That looks like the thing... What is that What is that monument called? The, the thing Forrest Gump stood in front of when he was giving the speech? Alright, just go, just go. Oh, there's so much. This is probably harder than Contra. And I've played through the whole Contra. This is harder than Contra. What is that thing up there? Oh, it actually shot me. Okay, we'll give it one more try. Oh, it's that thing again. Am I gonna- Hey, oh. I thought I was gonna get the machine gun. Oh, if you could just shoot up, that would make it so much more easier. Okay, whatever, I don't care. I don't care. And my final deduction is it is nowhere near junk. This may actually be a hidden gem. One, because of that music. Two, it's really not a bad design game at all. There are worse games on the NES than Journey to Silius. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.